This is an awning. This is also an awning. It's actually a tarp. But what we're looking at today is two Kelty covering options to be able to see if they can cover up my camp cook station and which option would be the best for my small SUV. But come along as we test these couple options in a park. It's, again, for two people, not bad. Just a chef and a pot full of noodles. Hey, Chef Corso, Outdoor Eats. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. But I want to cover up my cook station when I am on the road and when I'm cooking outside. So this is my rig. I don't have a super fancy rig. I just have a Honda CRV. But I want to be able to cover it up if it is rainy, windy, or really sunny. But I'm coming to you today from a park just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And what we're going to do today is put together these two awnings, both from Kelty. And I'll kind of tell you why I chose these specific ones for this specific video. But what we're going to look at is we're going to put them together, see if it's challenging, see if it's easy right out of the bag. We're going to talk about usability. Does it cover up the area that I want to cover up? Is it big enough for me? Is it big enough for other people? We're also going to talk about the specs for these. So overall dimensions, weight, packability, all that kind of stuff. So let's put these together and see how they fit on this rig. So we aren't necessarily going to cook anything today, but we're going to talk about two potential awning options to uh, cover up your, your workstation. Who am I kidding? This is Outdoor Eats channel. Of course we're going to cook something. Why I chose these two options from Kelty and what we are looking at today, we are looking at the Waypoint tarp, secures on the rear. And we're also looking at the side roads awning, which can go on the side or the rear of the vehicle. And why I chose these two very, very candidly is price. So when I was doing research for an awning, I sort of noticed that there's about four tiers of awning options, both on capability and on price. So tier one, which is like 50, ish dollars or so is just a tarp or a really really quick little lean-to situation with a couple guy wires and maybe a pole or two so i didn't necessarily want that because that was not enough for for what i'm looking for but the both of the side roads and the waypoint are right at that like 130 ish range so both of these are just a little bit over a hundred dollars you know if you're getting them on a sale at a cabela's or rei or other outdoor store you could probably drop it down a little bit but that seemed like a reasonable option for what i'm looking at at the moment but then if you want to keep going up you can go easily go up to 500 dollars for the options that you know secure up here to the side and just kind of pull pull off or you can get a you know full meal deal bat wing that you know, easily over $100, if not up to like five or more, again, depending on your rig, depending on where you're going. But, you know, I didn't really want to spend $5,000 today or even $1,000 today. But, you know, if you or you or someone you know works for one of those companies, I will happily take one and happily review it for you. So, but that's another video. So that's why I chose these two Kelty options. They were also very available uh, in stock in some places. And, but for me, it was just a price point that seemed reasonable and potentially reasonable for you if you are looking to uh, cover up your, your, your camp area and cook area, uh, you know, at the end of this season or into next season. So let's put these together. So I have this mostly put together here, and I put this together once before, but the tip that I can give you is definitely make your X with your poles. If you put up any sort of tent, then you know that this is pretty similar style. But um, at the corners here, there's a little bit of a sheath to be able to put your pole right in there. 
And the other tip I'll say is to get all of your corners in before you start doing your clips. Because this has a, a, sometimes a tendency to, to catch and it'll be a little bit challenging. And you, know, you might be a little bit mad if it's like really windy or really rainy already. But sizing is actually larger than it sort of feels like out of the bag. But let's go ahead and put this up on the car and see, uh, see how it covers. So this is the setup on the rear of the vehicle. And do make sure that you get this extra up here to help with your you know, drips and your rain. There's multiple straps to be able to secure either up here or to the wheel well. And also there's a couple stakes included that you can put in over here to really secure it depending on how windy and uh, depending on uh, how secure you would like it. And as far as getting into it, okay, so that actually helps give me a little bit more headroom. Here's, you know, stuff in the random Boca mobile. Okay, and I'm 6'2", and I can I can stand up pretty well. Wow, definitely different style and different feel depending on what's going on and what, you, what you're really looking to cover. Really find the right point to have it here at the end so you don't overlap for opening up the open up the tailgate, open up the back door. It's some pretty nice coverage in here. And you know, with no tabletop setup, you could easily put two chairs right over here with, with plenty of space, plenty of space for sure, and just sort of um, you know work on getting in and out of here. It's really, oh, we're getting a little windy. I have not secured it. <laughs> so if it is windy, make sure to secure it because this is, just turns into a big old sail. I think it's just your overall preference and where you'll be doing most of your hanging out and most of your, your, your cooking or, or, or work. One thing to note here, I've, I've used this a couple times now, is especially when it gets dark, this area gets, gets super dark. I mean, this is blue and really blocks out a lot of the light, which is good when it's sunny out, but it'd be really nice to have a little window here so it lets in a little bit more natural light, but I'm splitting hairs here. Corso, yeah, it's me from the future, future Corso. Yeah, did you know that there's actually a third Kelty awning you need to check out? Yeah, make sure you test it. Make sure you set it up. Yeah, do it. So I'm in Austin, Texas now, and you know, I was about to release this video when another Kelty awning came along my feed, and I was like, oh man, yeah, I, I should really check that out. So this is the Backroads awning. So it's a little bit more expensive than the other two, but I think it's gonna be a really good comparable and it apparently has a window, which is sort of what I was hoping for, and some walls. So let's take a look at the back roads. We'll set this one up and compare it to the other two. So we're here set up all on the side of the vehicle and I've rolled up the walls and you can definitely stake these down, which is wise. We also have a door and a window. So it looks like this Backroads has two side walls and a door and a window. 
And as far as getting in it, it's very, very roomy. Easy, easy for multiple chairs or a cook table. And again, I'm 6'2", and easy, easy for me to stand up in here. So a lot of really nice surface area to be able to set up your covered camp cook area. Wow. Let's check out the door and the window. got to say this is this is pretty cool because the side roads while being you know really solid but it got a little bit dark in there you know sometimes that's not that big of a deal but this does give you some flexibility to have a little bit of natural light in there and also have the door so you just have a awning that's easy out that's easy to get in from any side or you have the flexibility to put down your doors if it's raining and you really need to cover yourself up. Wow, it extends all the way over here. Wow. Yeah, you're basically covering your whole side of your car if you wanna do it over here. That's that's pretty nice thumbs up right there. So we are all set up and look at that. It covers the whole side of the CRV. Wow. A lot of great surface area for multiple, multiple people and a, and a bunch of stuff too. You can even set up a small tent in here if you really needed to protect yourself from the elements. Let's go do a quick setup on the, the back of the tailgate. Yeah, and you could wrap this door behind so you just have a nice large awning. Wow. Wow. I, I'm, I'm really surprised there's so much space here. And the versatility is a definite plus. So if I don't need these walls or wings set up, I could just have them rolled up and just have it be a covered space. Let's go ahead and take a look at our second awning or tarp option. So over the last multiple minutes, you know, I've been working to get this, get this up. This is not as fun by yourself. This is definitely a nice time to have a trail buddy. But what I've learned about these sort of tarps and awnings, especially with the guy wires, is that you got to get it set up once and then you need to do some really small adjustments on each of the wires and each of the area. So one thing I am noticing for my specific rig is it is secure and is up here, but then, you know, I don't necessarily have this. This is really good for a Jeep or a, you know, square box sort of situation. I mean, um, 
so it does fit the CRV, but maybe a little less less good and maybe not the exact right one for for this specific small SUV. But I'm not going to fight with this anymore because I'm hungry, <laughs> honestly. But I need to get my support beam a little more straight. But as far as sizing goes, again, really important to dial in this and these guy wires and any other guy wires that you can to be able to get it really taut and really perfect. But it's not the most fun even in a light breeze and really not the most fun just by yourself because you're you're hoping the breeze doesn't come while you're setting up or else you are more frustrated than you need to be but the thing with these tarps for any tarp whether it's just a you know a hammocking tarp uh camping tarp whatever is you know it's just a piece of plastic until you get it into the exact right spot and you until you get it the exact right tension to be able to stay there not flop around and not flop in like this one's doing now currently so it can't be really rocky like it is over here but it's actually quite nice over here so finding the right spot to set up your rig and with the the awning and the 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 tarp coming off of it is something to do you know right at the beginning be like hey can can i actually hammer a stake in here but think about if you were to get this all nice and situated we've got quite a bit of surface area here and uh, a little bit more length to our area that we can be covered compared to the other kelty we saw earlier so it's up to you as far as which one can work for you which one can work for your rig specifically but the first option was super easy up. It took only a couple minutes. This one does take a few more minutes, a little bit more finicky. But if you, again, if you do have a trail buddy and you do have ground that is ready to accept your stakes, then this could be a pretty darn good option for you too. And thinking about it, you know, if you really want to do this, you could do for about 250 to $300, you could have this on the back, the, other Kelty on the side and you're pretty covered. Another thing to note too is opening up your back door will give it a little extra layer of stability too besides just the guy wires. So I've got the side roads awning set up on the back and again you could easily put it over here on the side if you like but I've got my camp chair in there. I have also have my five and a half foot prep table and it easily fits with a little bit of room to spare. And that does take up some space, but if you only had maybe a two or three foot prep table in the corner, you could easily fit another chair or just you know, a little bit more stuff. But I think the overall surprising thing about this model of Kelty is there is quite a bit of space and it looks like more space than the picture. That, that's what I kind of noticed here. I'm all set up here in the awning, and that's a really good thing because it's starting to rain a little bit outside. Hurricane Nicole is coming through, and uh, it's going to drop some rain over the next couple days. But this is one of my favorite, like, quick, easy noodle dishes that doesn't really have a recipe, but it's really awesome for a road trip. It's super cheap. It's super easy. But let's put it together. Nice. All set up here. This is going to be super quick and easy, but we are basing our dish here today on rice noodles. You can also use ramen or different kind of floppy noodles if you like, but this is spicy, tasty Asian noodles. Again, not really a recipe, but I'm going to dial in my rice vinegar, my soy sauce, sesame oil. I have a couple kinds of chili paste. So we've got some chili crunch and some sambal. So I am road tripping here today. So I have these bottles available, but you, if you are doing a backpacking trip or want to portion it out a little bit more, you can easily use one of these resealable bottles, threaded bottles, to be able to put your sesame oil, soy sauce, rice vinegar, chili, all in one container, whether that's one ounce, two ounce, four ounce, eight ounce, whatever, and then just dump it into your pot and you're ready to go.
literal hot tip here. If you are cooking in here, make sure that you have enough room away from your awning or away from your tent. You don't want to melt your tent. That's definitely not a good thing for a lot of reasons and a lot of times, but make sure you are as far away from the edge of your awning as possible. So we've got our cooked rice noodles here and I'm just gonna start to build a really great sauce right on top. And, you know, you might be saying that, oh man, Corso, you are not measuring anything. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, but I've made this a couple times before. What I share with folks is that you can always, always add more, but it's really, really hard to take away. But I like spicy, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the, a couple different kinds of spice and chili oil here today. Nice. You can throw in a couple of nuts or sesame seeds too, a little bit of extra protein if you want. But this is sort of a really quick and easy version. Pull this down here. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Tough, tough light in the old awning. Oh boy, but that looks super yummy. So you can hit this with the heat for another few seconds just to bring those flavors together. Oh, but yeah, spicy Asian noodles. It's really important to give it a taste too. Your chance to add a little bit more salt, a little bit more acid, a little bit more something to make it your perfect noodle bowl. But if you are making this super simple noodle bowl for a big crew, maybe dial back the spice, maybe dial back the, the salt. And that way everyone can get their exact flavor that they really, really like. Quick and easy. Asian spicy noodles. Oof, man, Texas sunshine feels real good right now. But thanks for coming along for the Trio Kelty Awning Review, multi-city Trio Kelty Awning Review. The most room is probably the waypoint. It does have a really nice amount of coverage, but this is a very, very close second, especially when you put out the walls and the wings to be able to cover up some more, some more area. The easiest to set up, I would say it's probably the side roads because it's the, the smallest of the options and was just really, really quick and easy to set up. This is a close second, just it was a little bit bigger and just took a little bit more maneuvering, but overall not that bad. The most versatile, I would probably say the back roads because you could have it on the front or the back. You could have walls or no walls. You could have door or, door or no door, or you could have window or no window. So you could really, you know, make your own, you know, campy domicile, however you like it but it worked really well on the side and works really well on the back here. The one that I'm keeping, you know, I'm sending the other two back is the back roads. I am really surprised and I am, am willing to spend a few extra bucks to have a little bit more versatility so I can just have an awning, I can have a window, I can have a door, I can have full coverage when it's raining or raining sideways, you know, we've all been there and it's like, okay, great, thanks. You know, my head is dry, but man, the rain is coming in from the side. But for me, this back roads is the winner and I'm totally keeping it and I'm looking forward to using it to cover up my camp cook station. Thanks for coming along. Boca Boca. This is chef in a pot full of noodles. Yes. Mm. Mm. As you can see, the wind has picked up a little bit. Got a little bit of misty rain coming in. So I'm super glad I'm under cover here today to finish off my little snack as we're testing out the awnings, but the rain is gonna be coming. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.